The new season of Broadway in Cincinnati is getting people up on their feet. MJ the Musical stars a young actor who says he practiced Michael Jackson's iconic dance moves in his bedroom when he was a little boy. I sat down with Roman Banks and he told me why that didn't even come close to preparing him for stepping into this big role. I hadn't danced in five years before I auditioned for this role. Um, and so it was, I had seen the show and I remember originally seeing the show and the person I was there with, I <laughs> leaned over at like intermission and I was like, I can never do that. So I'm glad I didn't get that role. <laughs> So reawakening that part of myself was scary because I was like, do I, am I capable of this? And my body had just wasn't used to that sort of moving because uh, it hadn't in so long. And so, did it adjust quickly or did it take some time? No, it took some time. Yeah. It took some, I mean, I could barely walk at the end of that boot camp. And I remember we would like do Billie Jean and I'd be like out of breath and they'd be like, so when you kick your foot up here, and I'd be like, oh my gosh. Like, very precise. Very precise, yeah. yeah, no room for error. Wow. But that's how Michael was, he was mm -hmm. such a perfectionist. But this show focuses on the preparations and the dangerous tour, mm -hmm. right? Why, why was it important to focus on this part of his life and, and tell me a little bit about, about that storyline? You know, a lot of people view this as his creative height in, in his life, and um, it's right at this, crossroads in his life where he's made so much history. He's already the king of pop when he steps on stage in our show, but he still feels like he's got so much to prove. So we get to dive into his creative process. What does Michael look like under pressure? How is he dealing with um, the things that the media is already starting to say about him? How is he dealing with his own mental health? What's it like for you to portray someone who was A, a legend and an yeah. icon, but B, sort of a controversial figure. Yeah, totally, totally. You know, it's, it's as I, I grew up wanting to be such a serious actor and, and I really got to dive into everything I could find about them in order to see them as a 360 degree human being, right? A, a well-rounded human being. And so that's what I did with Michael. I was like, I don't know everything this man went through. I don't know how he became the person that I both do and don't know him as. So let me just get my feet dirty and dive all the way in. And it served so beautifully because now I almost feel like he's a friend of mine in this really um, peculiar way. Someone uh, I know came on opening night and she said it was like going to a Michael Jackson concert. Mm. Do you take that as a compliment? How do you feel when you hear totally. something like that? Totally. Uh, listen, Michael's <laughs> concerts, uh, you know, some of the best of all time and still stand the test of time today against a lot of, you know, modern artists. Um, and, you know, the, the, in it, we've had people, I think the biggest blessing has been people who who went to the Victory Tour, people who went to the Bad Tour, people who saw the Dangerous Tour have come up to me and been like, you, you, you got it, you got it, you did it. And so when I have people say regards like that, it just blesses me because I'm like, I'm grateful that the work done in the dark is, is evident in the light. What's your favorite song or dance or number and does it change? It changes all the time. Um, right now it's Don't Stop Till You Get Enough. Sometimes it's Stranger in Moscow. Um, sometimes it's uh, Beat It at the top. It, it all just depends on how cities are reacting to the energy we're giving, how I'm rediscovering things. I try to make every performance as fresh and, and present as I can. So sometimes I'm having a week and I'm like, and granted, it's only been, what, like a month and a half. But sometimes I'm having a weekend, I'm like, this feels really good. I kind of like the way this feels. And so right now, Don't Stop is a lot of fun. Roman Banks, and I'll tell you the greatest compliment I think I could give him is that you really almost forget that you're not actually watching Michael Jackson. I did forget for a second, right? Because I mean, you get so into it. Yeah, you know, that's and how, and so that's how great they are, yeah. the whole cast. Did people stand up and dance Oh, there were some people clap. down in the front row yeah. who were. They oh, were all on their feet. And we were all on <laughs> our feet. You had to, right? Yeah, it was so, yeah. so much fun. Oh, through Sunday, good. through Sunday at the Aeronaut.